All right, in this example, we're looking at a binary compound of cations with variable charges. A binary compound is one made up of two different elements. And the example we're going to be looking at is iron 3 chloride. And the first thing we're going to do is open up the periodic table. So here's the periodic table. Let's get this as big as possible so we can see what we need. And what we notice here is here is iron way down here near the left and chlorine whoops we need to move that over a bit and there is chlorine so the first thing we're going to do let's deal with the iron first and so we're going to write down the symbols F E and then what we notice is the charges right here is 3 plus and 2 plus 3 plus or 2 plus. And we're going to decide that in a second which one we're going to use. And for chlorine, here's the symbol Cl, and there's the charge 1 minus. So we'll write that over here Cl 1 minus. Then the next thing we need to decide is are we going to use the 3 plus or the 2 plus? And in our formula here, in our word formula, this is iron 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to definitely use the 3. And so what we're going to do first here is just write down the symbols again, F, E, and C, L. And then what we're going to do is take the 3, because we're using the 3 because it's Roman numeral 3 here. Take this 3, bring it all the way down here. And so we're going to write down a 3. And then the other thing is we're going to take this 1, we're going to bring it down here. But in chemical formulas, we do not write the the ones here is just assume if there's no number there then it is a one so we're just going to take that out and our final formula is FeCl3